Hello class. Welcome back to the training session. Let's see if we can increase our SOR and nail those hard ways and um, horn numbers, okay? There we go. Starting out with something new we learned. Uh, from practicing, I found out that um, we usually nail these uh, top numbers, the front number, and the one that's facing the uh, the inside palm. So basically, you can control three numbers. Okay, four. Here we go. Three, one, four. So we did get the three in the open palm and then the, the ace from the bottom up to six. So try again. Okay, we have six on top, five open, and um, four on the inside palm. Nine, three, six. Oh, didn't make that flip. Anyway, try again. Six on top, three in open, five when it close. Ace, ace two. The hardest to set up for is the ace and the deuce, uh, the deuce and the twelve. That's the hardest way to set because it's only one way to hit them. And no matter what you set it up for, the seven seems to uh, pop out. But um, doing this is, seems to help a lot. Same thing. Okay, six, eight, five, three. No, it's too tall. Six top, three open, five close. Nine, six, three. Three, one, two. on top, four open, two inside. Six, six, I mean three, three. Six the hard way. Six top, two open, three inside. Four, point made. One, three, four. And 
this rate we are seven row. We are within the math. It's not bad. Oops. Reload. Six, five, four. Ten. Ten is a new point. Six, four. Four and out, two and inside. Eight, six, two. Four, two, three, six, top. Nine, five, four. It's a sign. Probably a seven out after that. Let's hope not. Six top, four, two, three. Four, four, hard eight. Where are we now? We are 11 row, sweet spot. Okay. Here we go. Six top, three, two inside, five pop. Ah, oh, come on. Wow, look at that dice spin. Six top, five palm, four, two inside. <coughs> one, one, two. Another horn number. Three, six. This one is just try to drop it a little bit tighter like that. Ten. Point made. Two point. Okay. We are at thirteen row. Six top, four, two. Nine. Nice new point. Okay. 
reload. Six top, five facing here, four inside. Just like that. Nine. Okay, another point made. Three point ready. Fifteen row. Let's push it, see how far we can get out of this. Okay, six on top, five, four, inside palm. One, one, two. Another four, another one. Six, five, four. Ten, four, six. Points ten. We have 17 rows so far. Okay. All right, six out, three, five. Lost, Lost another dice over the table. Okay, three left. Six top, five, four. Six. Six, five, four, two. Seven out. Okay, let's look at this. We seven out. Okay, we got Three point made, couldn't make the four, just like what the math said. And we did 18 row. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay. 18 row. Using the, the technique. Not bad. Three point could make the fourth. All right, let's give that a try one more time. There you go. Let's have your seat. All right, let's see if we can do back to back. I don't think so, but I would like to. So, there we go. All right. The other dice fell off the table somewhere. I'll have to look for it later. Okay, take that dice. Go again. Okay. Two on top, ace, three. Nine, points nine. Six, three, nine.
Så til tre. To. Tre. One, one, two. One, one. It seems to me that I might be wrong, but um, it's, it's obvious to you guys. But it seems that, as I mentioned earlier, you seem to hit those three numbers more often than usual. Whatever's on top, whatever's facing open, in this case would be the five. Come on. And then whatever's inside of the palm lock. So it'll be top number, open, and inside palm. So these three numbers seems to be coming up in that position, right? And then the others doesn't show up that often. <coughs> See? Six, four, ten. Six on top, four is the other side. Where the palm is. So, what do you do with that key information? Well, if you know that's consistent, you can get a pretty good payday just by hopping and the, uh, the combination with those dice numbers in it, with those combos, you know. There you go, right? Six top, five, four. Hard ten, five, five. See what I mean? Flip that one out. Uh, it's hard ten anyway. Here's the other five. Okay, let's show it again, right? Remember what I said? Okay, so whatever's on top, whatever's open, and whatever's locked inside the palm. So we six, two, three. These numbers should be in a combination of the, the, the set that's going to land, okay, the dice. So let's see if that theory works. <coughs> Seven out. Two, five. We did two, three, four, five row. All right, one more time. See how far we can push it SOR. Okay. Six on top, five, four. So we should get a combination of one of those. There's a five, six, please. Six, five, four, two. So we should get six, four, or two combo. Five and three, eight. Six, five, six on top, three on the side, five on the close palm. One, one, two. One, nine.
six on top. Five, four. Nine. Three. And a six back here. Can't say anything. That's a legitimate roll. Six on top, four, open, two, three, close palm. Seven, two, four, four row. Wow. That just to show you, it's difficult to do back to back after you have a really good row. Let's try one more time. Six on top, four, two. Six, two, six. I like throwing it this way because um, it eliminates the rebound, which is one of the things that I'm working on the most. Same thing, six on top. Two, four, six, three, three, hard way, hard six. Plus, it gives me a higher percentage of the hard way number. Six. New points eight. Five. Three on top, five on side, six on side palm. Six the hard way. Three three. It's four row. Crept out on the fifth one. Let's see if we can pass it and carry it through. Okay. Six, four, two. Nine, three, six. Okay, that's five row. Let's uh, let's not jinx it and uh, change set. We're gonna go for the four two two four tossing it the old way. Twelve. Six six. Four two two four. Ten, five, five, hard way. Four, two, two, four. Four six. I like the way those dice are sticking there. It's landing pretty good. I don't know.
don't know if you guys can see that that landing when it's thick. Um, but I'm happy with it. Wow. Perfect landing. Six, six, twelve. It just rested right on the where it's supposed to be. Oh man. Flipped it by accident. Okay, here we go. Four two two four. Three, two, one. Change set. Six three three six. Four one three. My landing seems to be pretty good today. It's sticking a rebound. So, same set, six, three, three, six. Nine, four, five. Six three three six. Nine three six. Very good. We are, where are we? We are uh, average SOR max, 13. That's how, switch it up, go back to the other way. Okay. Ace on top, five, three inside. Six, two, four. Two, four. Okay. Five, six on top, four on the inside. Six, five, one. Nine, that's six is clustering pretty good. Sixteen, fifteen, fifteen. Let's go again. Six top, five, four. Six again. Man, killing that six. One five. Ah, oh, flipped it. That's the one. Sorry, folks. I do get excited when I roll for a long time, you know. I surprise myself sometimes. Okay, six top, four, two. Four. One, three.
We are at 17 row now. Six, five, four. Four again. And getting pretty exciting here. One, three, four. Six top, four open, six top, four open, two close. Four again. Damn, good. One, three. Like I tell you, when this thing clusters, it likes to cluster. Six on top, five, four on inside. Six. Four, two. We are at 20, 20, 20 roll. Very good then. Let's not curse it. Okay. Six, three, five, close. Eight, point made. Okay, no score. It's only second point. We got room to make one more point. Five, three. Switch back to a uh, other way. Four two two four. Twenty one rows so far. Five. Point five. One four. Four two two four. Three, one two. See how the dice interact with the chip. That's how you can expect real world environment. That's why I do with a full table. We're at 23 row now. 4, 2, 2, 4. <laughs> 11. 5, 6. We just hit the all tall. Four two two four. Nine. Six three. Chain set. Six three three six. Six 
seven out, three, four. And we made 25 rows. This is seven out, four, three. Two point, gonna do the last, uh, the third one. And we did everything except the two for the, uh, I should have switched to the, the new tossing style. Maybe I could have gone longer. But uh, 20, 25 row crept out at the 26. Let's count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. 25 row switching between two probably different techniques and a couple of different sets. Um, the only thing I need to do now is just uh, get it consistent. But I know 20, uh, 14 is my average. So I'll see you next time. Don't forget to keep practicing. Don't be afraid. Try something new. Like I told you, this, uh, this stacking and tossing, um, it seems to help me a lot. So you may want to give it a try. See you next time. Take care.